what is going on YouTube? It is the Beast Pokeballer here as always and welcome to the next Wi-Fi battle on the channel. Now today guys we have a UU post commentary Wi-Fi battle against my friend Sky aka Fearless Fear. I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. He's a pretty big name in the uh, Pokemon community. So yeah, he has a YouTube channel and a Twitch and a Twitter and those will all be linked in the description. Please check them out guys. Sky is a fantastic dude. Uh, but yeah, you you battle now on my team. Uh, well, first off, let's take a look at this nice layout. Hey, so I got this made for me by Cohen. Uh, check out his link also in the description of this video. Uh, great graphic artist, dude. So yeah, this is really nice. Um, yeah, this layout is beautiful. Um, but as you can see on my team, we have Don Fan, aka Ellie, Beast, the Mega Blastoise, Darmanitan, aka Dixie Kong. As always, we have Al Capone. Our Haunch Crow, uh, which let me tell you, this thing goes to work. Uh, we have our Galvantula, aka Charlotte, who likes to set up them sticky webs, which is just such a great hazard. Such a great Pokemon. Uh, and then lastly, we have Balby, the Porygon 2. Um, he doesn't do that much in this match, as you guys will see. Um, and now on Sky's team, he is rocking the Swamper, which I can only assume to be his Mega. Uh, he has the floor, just great special defense tank. He has the Arcanine, which I don't know if he's running like a defensive one or straight up physical attacking, so that's pretty scary. He has Hydreigon again, can be physical or special. I prefer physical on like most people, but you know, he's probably running the special. Uh, he has a Toxic Croak, or yeah, Toxic Croak, uh, which usually runs like the Sucker Punch and everything. Um, and then lastly, he has Azelf. Uh, which is probably going to be a set of Pokemon. So let's jump straight into this battle, guys. And uh, see how it goes, yo. Let's see how it goes. Did I just the, the play? There we go. Sweet. All right. So, Sky is issuing a challenge. Six to six right now. I predict the lead with Azelf and I go into Ellie. Now I know that he's probably predicting me to go for the rocks on the first turn, so he's going to go for the taunt. Now luckily for me, I run knockoff to take care of Espeons to try a magic bounce switch. So I hit him with that knockout. Uh, it's going to take off his focus sash and almost take him out. Um, so he's going to withdraw, fearing the ice shard, knowing that will most likely kill him. And he goes into his Swampert. Now obviously the Swampert's going to eat the ice shard really well. That would have been a good turn to go for rocks, but it's fine. We didn't need them up right away. It's all good. Now I don't want to lose my Don fan, so I switch her out real quick, fearing the waterfall, and I go into Charlotte, who has Energy Ball and Focus Sash, so I know I can take a hit. Um, but I do forget that Mega Swamperts usually run Rain Dance, so he's gonna Mega Evolve, get them Anchor Arms, boys, and uh, yeah, he's gonna go for the Rain Dance, which now doubles his speed. Um, I'm still not really afraid because I, you know, I have the Focus Sash. So the only thing that could be bad is if I flinch, but he knows that I probably have the grass attack, so he's going to switch out fearing that, and he's going to go into his special defense tank, which would be Florges, uh, which is going to eat up that energy ball real nicely, as you guys will see right here. It takes almost no damage after the leftovers recovery, and uh, I know that I can probably live a moon blast. It's not going to kill, so I go for the sticky webs just to get them up. I know that they'll be super helpful, uh, especially when he's trying to run a speedy Swampert. Uh, so he's going to go for the Moon Blast, and as you guys will see in just a second, it's going to do some really good damage, but it's not going to take us out. Uh, he's going to take more leftovers, re leftovers Recovery, bring him up almost to full health now, uh, which is fine. You know, it was already at basically full health, so we're going to switch out here, um, and I go straight into the Blastoise. Knowing that I can take an attack, you know, pretty well, Blastoise is a pretty uh, good good defensive all-around Pokemon. Uh, so he goes for the Moon Blast, and unfortunately, he's going to get a critical hit right here, which really, really blows <laughs> Honestly, like, I really didn't need that. So now, he's up to full health, and we have a over half dead last choice. Uh, but the water attack in the rain is going to do a ton of damage, even if he's super specially defensive. So he knows that. He's going to switch out and go to his Toxic Croak, which I completely forgot gets dry skin. Uh, his speed's going to fall, which sucks and everything. But we're going to Mega Evolve. And uh, as you guys will see here in a second, wow, Blastoise looks great. <laughs> as you guys will see in a second, Water Pulse is going to do absolutely nothing. Thank God he didn't switch in on some damage. Uh, so now the rain's going to stop him, like, dang. Uh, but I go for the Dragon Pulse. And, you know, I'm not really sure if it mattered, but I do hit a crit right here. And it takes him out. I don't think it mattered, you know. Uh, I think he was expecting to outspeed. He might have forgotten about the Sticky Webs. But Sticky Webs, as you guys will see, come into play a lot here. Uh, now he's going to go back into the Florges. And I know that Water Pulse really won't do that much. So I'm going to switch out and uh, go into Dixie Kong, knowing that she can definitely take a Moon Blast since she resists it. Uh, so yeah, 
his floor just is going to spit out that moon blast at me. We're gonna take it nicely, 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 which is all good. Um, he's gonna draw, and luckily I make a pretty nice prediction here. Uh, as you guys will see, I go for the U-turn because I knew that he was probably gonna switch. Um, so Swampert Speed is gonna fall, which is really important again. Um, and the U-turn goes off, does you know whatever, oh, decent damage. Um, but now, which is good, uh, I get a priority switch into Charlotte, so he's gonna be forced to switch again or lose his Swampert. Now, right here, I was so close to clicking Thunder, but I didn't want to risk it. Uh, so I just went for Energy Ball either way, and he's going to go back into his Florges. And uh, his speed is going to get lowered once again, and Energy Ball, like the first time, isn't going to put a dent in this thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's really good. I know uh, Charlotte doesn't have the greatest special attack in the world, but still, it's eating it up very well. Now, I'm going to switch out because I do not want to lose Charlotte at the moment, uh, especially with that Energy Ball coming in handy. So I go back into Dixie Kong knowing that she can eat another Moon Blast, and she does. Uh, but now we're below half, and I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. You know, I don't want her to be gone yet, uh, especially since she's such a good threat in UU. Um, so he's going to take back almost at full health again. Uh, he's going to switch and go this time into his Arcanine. I really wish I went for the U-turn this time, but I was afraid that he would predict it and stay in. So I did end up going for the... Uh, um, Flare Blitz. Now after the Intimidate, I'm like, oh, it's going to do nothing. Uh, but Tarmantan coming in through, doing like a good chunk of damage. Almost half, because uh, it is a critical hit. But still, that did really nice damage. Uh, we're going to take recoil damage, and now I'm like starting to get a little bit afraid. Um, and I know that I have to switch if I want to keep my Dixie Kong. So I do switch out real quickly right here, and I go into Ellie. No way she can take any physical hit, or if he's going to go for the Prediction Will-O-Wisp, it's not really going to bother me. So he goes for the E-Speed, and it does not do much at all. Uh, he's going to take Lefties 2. He has two Lefties Pokemon, right? Maybe three. No, two. Uh, we're going to take our own Lefties, getting us almost back up to full health, which is cool. Um, and now he's going to withdraw, and this was I knew he was probably going to withdraw or something because I have the Earthquake. And he goes into Hydreigon, predicting the Earthquake, I'd assume. And uh, this is my perfect opportunity to get up them Stealth Rocks, which is Stealth Rocks and Sticky Webs combined. Ugh, that's that's pretty bad, you know. That is uh, not a good thing to be against. Now, we got almost a full off, which sucks because I could have gone for a knockoff here. But just to be safe, I go for the Ice Shard, not knowing if he'll go for Draco and take me out easily. Uh, but he goes for the Dark Pulse, which I know isn't going to kill, but it comes very close. Uh, I don't really run any special defense investments into my uh, Don Fan. So we take a little bit of HP back from the lefties, and I just go for another Ice Shard. Like, I could have gone for knockoff last turn, but whatever. And I could have gone for knockoff this turn, too, because he goes for the Roost. Um, but it's all fine and dandy. You know, I don't really need Ellie that much anymore. She's done her job. She got the rocks up. Uh, she put a, a decent dent into this Hydreigon. So I can get one final Ice Shard off before we say goodbye to Ellie. And that's exactly what I do. Um, it does good damage, but unfortunately, the Dark Pulse is going to be enough to take us out pretty easily. Yeah. Hydreigon's a great Pokemon. I should start using a special one. <laughs> it's probably better. Uh, so that happens. He's looking pretty low. So I know it's safe to go into Dixie Kong again, and I can just get the U-turn with the Choice Scarf. I'll be outspeeding everything, really. Uh, so he's just going to go into Arcanine, which is fine by me, because, again, we get like a priority switch into whatever I want to go into. Uh, so Sticky Web is going to take him down and Intimidate doesn't really matter. I'm not really trying to get damage here. I'm just trying to make a good play. So U-turn goes off and yeah, Zarkonite is not looking very good. <laughs> Has an extreme speed in him. That's about it. Which, you know, extreme speed is a good attack, but it's not going to take out a Blastoise at half health, luckily. So he's going to take Lefties, get Nah, kind of close to half, but not quite. And uh, he's going to withdraw. Fearing the Water Pulse. Now, I just don't know why I went for Dragon Pulse, but I did. As you guys will see. Um, I should have gone for, like, I don't know, something. I should have just gone for Water Pulse, to be honest. Uh, there was an overprediction on my on my part, thinking that maybe he'll go into Hydreigon, because it will resist it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it doesn't affect. So we go for the Water Pulse this time. I'm like, alright, no point in saving. Uh, our Blastoise, he did a good job, uh, you know, but um, there's no point in saving him. I know I can need another Moon Blast, which is awesome and everything, but we're really not even putting a dent into this Florges, which sucks. 
Uh, but I get off one last water pulse before I go down. And he's just going to go ahead and use the moon blast. Which is going to once and for all take out the beast. <laughs> Using my own mascot. That's really smart. <laughs> um, no, Mega Boss is good in Yu Yu. I think it's a really good Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, so he's going to take the lefties one more time. And uh, this is where it starts to get good, guys. We send in Al Capone, the Honchkrow. I like that nickname. You got to like that nickname. I love that nickname. He goes into Azelf, and I safely go for the Brave Bird. Luckily, it doesn't take him out all the way. It takes him out to the perfect amount where I can get off the Brave Bird. Thank God. Hit him with it and uh, take minimal to no recoil damage. As you go see, we take like 1% of recoil damage. Um, and then we get the Moxie boost, and this is where, like, it gets good here, guys. It gets good here. Uh, we're Life Warp, so we lose some HP, and he goes to Hydra Guy, and I'm like, alright, he's probably faster, you know. Uh, I don't have the greatest speed, but he's gonna take Stone Damage. I'm like, yo, Sucker Punch plus one, that's gonna take him out. So we go for the Sucker Punch, and bam. He could have gone for Roost, though. That would have been a good prediction. I didn't even remember that he had Roost. <laughs> I don't think most people run Roost on it, but now we are a plus two Honchkrow with uh, Pursuit, Sucker Punch, Brave Bird and Roost, like we're about to wreak havoc right here. He goes into his Arcanine, and I know that in extreme speed will probably hurt, but it's most likely not going to kill. Um, Intimidate sucks, it puts us back down to plus one, unfortunately, but it really isn't going to matter much. So he goes for the E speed right here, ouch, but Pursuit's going to be able to kill him. I don't want to go for Psycho Punch because I know E speed goes first, and I didn't want to go for Brave Bird because I don't want to take any recoil, recoil. So I knew Pursuit would kill either way. And if he wanted to switch, you know, Pursuit would catch him. Now we're back up to the plus two. Um, and he goes into a Swamp Root. And I make a few mistakes here, but it's really not that bad. It doesn't come out to anything bad. Uh, he gets Sticky Webbed, so he's slower. I'm like, yo, he's going to go for that Rain Dance right now. I know he will. So I'm like, let's go for Roost. And I should have noticed that I outsped. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> um, but I'm like, let's get health back. This will be good. And he goes for Ice Punch. I completely forgot that Roost removes your Flying type. So we eat that up. Actually, really good. Um, and we get, I just, I'm like, yo, let's go for another roost. I don't know, maybe it's a speed tie. I don't usually like to check during battles because, I don't know, I just don't. Um, but he's gonna go for the ice punch again, and all that's happening is we're gaining health. But I'm like, yo, he's gonna get a crit, he's gonna freeze or something. Let's just go for a brave bird this time. So I go for that bravity bird, and uh, it's gonna hit pretty hard. It's gonna take that swamper out. Um, and now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is gonna be that annoying flower Florges. Uh, meanwhile, we're at plus three, and we have a Stab Brave Bird, uh, but also only 12 HP. So, you know, looks like Al Capone um, isn't going to make it any longer after this uh, Brave Bird that we're about to fire off, guys. Uh, so we do go for the Brave Bird, and that will seal up the battle against my opponent, Sky Fearless Firo. Okay, guys, check the man out. Great, great content creator. Um, he has like 1600 subs, over 3k followers on Twitch. One of my favorite streams, just chill out and watch. But yeah, we win, we get a 3-0, I think it was. We didn't even bring out the Porygon 2. We had Charlotte left, and... Well, it might have been a 2. No, and we had Dixie Kong left, right? Yeah. So yeah, that was a great battle, Sky. Thank you so much. And uh, without any further ado, let the outro roll!